Yo, 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 what is going on Xbox and YouTube? Now, I am having a little bit of a capture card dilemma. I recently traded up for the Avermedia 4K from my Elgato HD60. Now, from having problems with Elgato support in the past and seeing how much people liked Avermedia plus the quality of their cards and great videos by Epos Vox to help me make the decision on getting this capture card. Now, it has been a great experience as far as being able to play 4K games on my Xbox One X while streaming in 1080p. Now, the only thing I don't really seem to understand is that when I put this card into my computer, which I have a 1950X Threadripper overclocked to 3.8 gigahertz, 32 gigs of CL16, 3200 megahertz of CL16 Trident Z RAM, which isn't the greatest. It's not the greatest overclocking RAM. I don't have the Samsung B dies. But regardless of that, I cannot stream at the very same quality settings that I could stream with my HD60. Now, I really do not understand what is going on with that. I do understand the HD60 is a USB 2.0 card, and the Avermedia 4K here is a PCI Express times 4 card. Now, I have had the Elgato HD60 Pro in the past, and it behaved just the same as my Elgato HD60. So I don't really understand why I am receiving frame rate drops with the same exact recording settings or streaming settings with the Avermedia 4K. Now I will show you guys exactly what is going on here. As you can see, I have the frames or the stats menu for OBS open so you can see uh, frames missed for render lag, frames missed for encoding lag, and I understand what I'm about to do isn't really indicative of uh, an actual gameplay session. But I am going to basically just fly around this city, and as you guys can see, right now we are on the HD60. Everything is doing just fine. We are able to basically do whatever we want, move the camera anywhere we want to, stress the game out in any way we want. And as you can see, even with the preview window enabled, we are not dropping any frames whatsoever. Now, the confusing part comes in when you switch over to the Avermedia. Now, we are just going to stress the hell out of this HD60 here for a minute to basically prove that it's not dropping frames no matter what I do to it. We are getting up to a 1.9 millisecond render delay or uh, average time to render a frame, but nonetheless, not really a big problem. I mean, it's if it's not dropping frames, I could care less how long it takes for it to render a frame. Now, I thought when you got a PCI Express card, it was sort of taking one step out of the equation, therefore, in fact, giving you better performance. Now, one thing I did not know about the Avermedia card versus the Elgato card is it uses direct show drivers. Now, Avermedia or 4K, I'm sorry, um, Elgato, I don't know why I said that, Elgato has their own little window, as you guys can see right here, and I'm guessing there's some sort of proprietary crap going on with this. But um, that is the preview window or the configure video button for the Elgato. And the configure for the Avermedia looks like this. So it's the direct show driver. Now, what I do not understand is if we go over to the 4K from the Elgato HT60 and perform the same stress tests, we will start to drop frames, as you guys will probably see here quite quickly. Now, I don't really understand why I'm dropping frames, and it tends to be a lot worse on when you're live streaming. But as you can see, we've dropped 13 frames, 18 frames, and in, just in case it is the preview window doing it, we'll disable the preview window. I have tried overclocking my uh, CPU more, I've tried overclocking my RAM, and we are now getting encoder overloaded um, warnings on OBS. Now, the interesting fact to me is when you switch back over to the HD60, you have none of the same issues. So I really don't get what is going on here, if this is a driver issue, if there's something I'm doing wrong. I tried every PCI slot in my computer. I have tried um, different drivers. I've tried different versions of OBS. And no matter what I do, I cannot prevent the Avermedia from dropping frames at the same quality settings as I would run on my HD60. So as you can see with the HD60, we're not dropping frames, but the minute we jump back to the Avermedia and disable the HD60, we will drop frames almost immediately. It just depends. 
And I know I first noticed this when I was streaming with it for the first time, the new Call of Duty. I was dropping random frames every so often. And it, we seem to be dropping frames in 10 frame increments, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I understand there's more than likely a render delay going on, or it's just too much in some fashion. But what I don't get is I thought the OBS software is what governed the quality. So regardless if this is a 4K card or not, I figured 1080p60 would be able to run just as it did on my HD60. Now, I will show you guys the recording settings I am using. I am using a 20,000 kilobyte or 20 megabyte recording. We are keyframe interval of two. We have the CPU usage on medium, but this will even happen on fast and on faster, just not as frequently. And we have our profile set to high. So the only thing I do not understand is why the 4K card drops frames and the Elgato HD60 doesn't at the same frame rate, resolution, and encoder quality. So once again, we will go back from the Avermedia to the HD60. So now we're on HD60 and we're not dropping a single frame. So it is really, really confusing to me. And if there's anybody out there like Epos Vox or someone in the OBS forums that can at least explain to me what is going on or with the best luck of ever somebody at Avermedia media could uh, contact me that would be amazing um, but I have no idea what is going on or why it's going on like I said I have tried the HD 60 Pro PCI card and it behaved the same exact way as my Elgato HD 60 no issues whatsoever and the Avermedia media card is the only card I've ever had that uh, is for one made by Avermedia, so I've I've always been an Elgato guy, and I don't know if there's just something I'm missing because as you can see, it won't always drop frames, but it will in chunks of ten generally. And like I said, I've tried multiple encoder presets. Uh, it will do this same type of behavior all the way down to fastest, and even if I drop the bit rate in half to ten megabytes, it still will do it. I've dropped as low as seven megabytes, and I still get dropped frames. So, to recap, we have the HD60 right here working perfectly, no problems whatsoever. And we'll do the same run to close the video out with the Avermedia card. Now, one thing I have noticed is I, I get significantly less frame drops if I leave the Elgato HD60 running, but it still drops frames nonetheless. So, as you can see, Avermedia is dropping frames with the same drone loop that I am doing at Forza here. So, thank you guys for checking out my video. If there's anything you can suggest me to do to uh, fix this, I have tried, I've reached out to Avermedia and gave them all the information I possibly can. I'm waiting to hear back from them. But if I end up figuring out what the problem is, look forward to the next video because I will explain and break down everything that may or may not be happening. I'm looking to get a new graphics card. I just don't know what route to take to fix this, whether it be driver issues, graphics card, my CPU, my RAM. So if you guys have anything at all to say or to uh, comment or help me with at all, the logs will be down below for some past live streams. And if I can find the one for this exact recording, I will give you guys that one too. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.